Hey, so we are at my in-laws helping get ready for a garage sale today. And if I'm gonna keep up with this vlog, then I have to work with what I've got. So here it goes. Uh, this was from a journal entry a couple of days ago. I said, the question for this 30 day vlog is what will God do in these 30 days? And I'm not sure I really answered that in the first two videos. I need to know what God has said he will do and I need to know his character. He won't withhold a good thing from his child. He will provide. He may be disciplining us so that we can be more Christ-like. He is protecting us. Jesus asked him to in John 17. And you know, those are the kind of things I really want to stand on. Those are the kind of things that I want to, I want my life to demonstrate. Not the, um, not the magical, I needed $110 and guess what came in the mail, $111. You see, God provides in abundance. I mean, they're good stories and God does work that way, but you know, he's the one I really want to know. You know, I want to know what he's up to. Yeah. I, I've been reading a lot in the prophets and sometimes it seems like God isn't even 100% sure. He says what he's going to do and then he begs the people to repent so that he won't have to do what he said he was going to do. Um, he has such a heart of compassion and love so that when I pray, I just pray for his will. I don't I don't really ask, get me to Mali by the 30th, get my kids to school on time, because, you know, those are minor rewards, minor little comforts that honestly tend to distract us from God. <laughs> anyway, so that's what I've been thinking. And what else we got here? Oh, listen to this. So this is, uh, this is from some friends. And, uh, man, I'll let you listen to it and then I'll tell you. Play. Not even? Recipe says not good enough. So, recipes. Get special paper. Okay, how do you get that special paper? I'm not sure. Um, I so. Can find out, but Kev can find out for you. But it might be better by the end of August, right? Inshallah. Inshallah. <laughs> Currently, they're refusing people even with a recipe. So that was us talking to our friends about flying back into, they're in Senegal, we're headed to Mali, and we're trying to just get a finger on the pulse of what's happening as airports open. And just the way they were talking, I'm like, oh, those are my people. <laughs> I, I listened, it was a message to my wife. I was hearing it as we were getting ready to go somewhere. And when the message was done, I just went, <sighs> Like, man, it felt good. Like, there are people who get me. There are people who are like me, who experience life to some degree in the same way I do. Um, you know, you don't see that a lot in the States. Anyways, so that was a big encouragement. Here is what else has been going on. Practically, we needed $670 a month at the beginning of the month. And now we need $291 a month. That's a big improvement that, you know, praise God. Um, and it's pretty much all coming from the little guy that is already supporting us and is just chipping in and being faithful. And we love that because that's what we do too. We're just the little guy out in the field, just being faithful to be a witness for the gospel in this tiny little corner that doesn't have much witness. So Heidi and I spent August 4th cleaning up the house we've been living in for the last nine, 10 months. And man, we got it done. We turned that messy house into a pretty good looking house. They still had a house cleaner go over it, which was probably a good idea. But uh, we got a lot done in a day. Ended it all with a bonfire, burning the last little bits of, of stuff that weren't going anywhere. Then we had, we had Jacob with us for that trip. And man, he was good. He sat on his butt in the house, in the driveway, or in the grass for five hours or better while we worked all by himself, just picking blades, blades of grass, and uh, he was so good. Uh, and then we loaded up the trailer and headed home, and we're, we're out of that place now. It's hard to know when it's time to say goodbye, but if you're talking about a pair of shoes, this is when you know. You know, if I thought real hard, I think I could remember my first pair of shoes. 
<laughs> yep, we got these. On a, we went on a little lunch date with my brother and his wife just before we left in the last oh, furlough. Those ones? Yep, got a steal on them, 30 bucks. Same shoes, 110, 120 today. So, right, got my money's worth out of these. Oh. August 5th, I spent all day making the last video for you guys. And then I shot on, on August 6th, we were just doing some little packing and getting ready things and I shot a handful of what happened that day. It seems like Ezekiel is kind of re-prophesying because he's already in exile. But I think it must have been, oops, must have been before the completion. I don't, how about a Kleenex? <sighs> The completion of all of God's judgments on Judah because, uh, yeah, the majority of people would already be in exile. Unless maybe he's from the southern kingdom and went into exile before Judah. But I don't think so because I think he was a priest and the priests were, would have been in Jerusalem and Judah. But yeah, he gives pretty detail when he shaves his head with a sword. And then puts a third of the hair in the city and burns it a third of the hair outside the city and strikes it with a sword. And then a third of the hair scatters to the wind but takes a little part of it, tucks it in his robe. He even pulls out a little bit of what he tucks in his robe and burns it in a fire. And, you know, those are all the stages that whittle it down to the 4,600 that Jeremiah talked about at the end of his book. So they must overlap. Be good to see in a timeline. Out riding bikes. So fun. Yes, you could join them. The word of I am came to me, son of man. Did you say daddy? It sounded like it to me. Say it again. Daddy, daddy, daddy. The word of, of I am came to me, son of man. This is what the sovereign I am says to the land of Israel. The end. The end has come upon the four corners of the land. The end is now upon you, and I will unleash my anger against you. I will judge you according to your conduct and repay you for all your detestable practices. I will not look on you with pity or spare you. I will surely repay you for your conduct and the detestable practices among you. Then you will know that I am, I am. All right, here's the tea. Don't 
Dorothy, you putting that away? Excellent. Even in a kind of fancy way. Pretty good. There you go. That's the way I usually do it. It gets drier that way. Excellent. That girl. You got it. You got it. God, this is your day. And we want to see you in it. We pray that you would reveal yourself in provision and presence and uh, patience and the character that you have with one another. And, uh, yeah, and in special little appointments to do good works that will glorify you, encourage your body, and, and uh, preach the gospel to anyone who would listen, anyone who has ears. We pray this in Jesus' name. It was interesting. Um, its name is one of those teachings. I think it was a letter. Yeah. If you don't call it, then yeah. So Carly's is also four. That's really good. Jethro. Jethro. What? Did you see the deer this morning? Mm -hmm. yeah. Where was it? They were over by the pond. A couple freaking. baby deer? I only saw two. One in the creek and one over here by the pond. How you doing? Pretty beautiful, huh? There are good things and bad things about being the youngest of 10. I'm not sure which one this is. Taking that boy for a ride? Yeah. What do you think, man? You like that? You can drive off. It didn't pop and hit Duck's leg. Didn't pop and hit your leg? Good. I Why forgot the keys. Send him <laughs> he forgot the keys. He forgot the keys. You guys doing all right over here? Yeah. Daddy, that is so complicated with all my little pouncing. I'll say Jack. Cheese! Do you want the other green one?